Hi, I'm Lucy. Thank you for joining me for another video. And if this is your first time here, a very warm welcome to you. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the mansion that was used for the 1950 movie Sunset Boulevard. It was located in Los Angeles, California, directed by Billy Wilder and the cast starring Gloria Swanson and William Holden and it also had Eric Von Strineham, Cecil B. DeMille, Buster Keaton and H.B. Warner. And it's about an agent silent movie star Norma Desmond played by Gloria Swanson who takes in a flat broke screenwriter Joe Gillis played by William Holden in Billy Wilder's brilliant satire noir. Now forget the address given in the movie which is 10086 Sunset Boulevard which would place it west of Beverly Hills toward Bel Air. Norma Desmond's glorious old Renaissance style mansion could have been found in Midtown Los Angeles. It stood until 1957 at 641 South Irving Boulevard on the northwest corner of Wilshire Boulevard when unbelievably it was demolished to make way for the glumly nondescript Getty headquarters which is now the Harbor Building. The house which also became the abandoned mansion supposedly below the Griffith Observatory in the movie Rebel Without a Cause was built in the 20s for a former U.S. consul in Mexico who abandoned the building leaving it vacant for over 10 years until it was bought by J. Paul Getty. At the time of filming of Sunset Boulevard the mansion had passed to Mrs. J. Paul Getty in a divorce settlement and she in turn rented the property out to Paramount on condition the film company built her a swimming pool. And if Mrs. Getty didn't like the pool, the studio would have to remove it. Paramount built it, Mrs. Getty liked it, and it stayed, which is just as well. Two more lost locations are glimpsed the famed Schwab's Pharmacy, which stood at 8024 Sunset Boulevard at Laurel Avenue, West Hollywood. Until being torn down in the 80s is where Norma and Joe stop off for cigarettes. This was, of course, the place where, legend has it, Lana Turner was discovered sitting at the counter. Like many Hollywood tales, it's not true, but who cares? Also seen across the street from the tailors where Norma buys Joe some posh duds is the old Perino's restaurant, a famed hangout of the stars which stood at 3927 Wilshire Boulevard. In the same year Sunset Boulevard was released, Perino's moved a few blocks west to 4101 Wilshire. But now even that restaurant is gone, torn down in 2005 to make way for apartments. The good news is you can still see the digs of scriptwriter Joe Gillis, which is the Mediterranean style Alto Nido or Nido and Ido apartments, which is at 1851 North Ivor Street in Hollywood. And just down the road a bit in the Mock Tudor Bada said apartments, which is located at 1817 North Ivor, lived the real life writer Nathaniel West, who began penning the classic Hollywood satire Day of the Locust there in 1935, and it was filmed in 1973 by John Schlesinger. Okay, so Norma Desmond visits. This Cecil B. DeMille on set at Paramount Studios at 5555 Melrose Avenue in, where else? Hollywood. 
where he is filming Samson and Delilah. The studio, built in 1917 as the Peralta Studios, became the Brunton Studios in 1920, then United Studios in 1921, before being bought by Paramount in 1926. The studio has since expanded and swallowed up surrounding streets, which means that the main entrance is no longer the famous Paramount Gate seen in the movie. The famous Paramount Arch is now stranded in the lot and can only be glimpsed from a distance, unless you book a Paramount Picture Studio tour. Disastrous previews of the film, one in Evanston, Illinois, home to the Women's Christian Temperance Union, this was Wilder's follow-up to The Lost Weekend. This led to Billy Wilder junking the original scene, the scene of the corpse of Joe Gillis, and a bunch of other stiffs in the morgue discuss how they ended up dead, and trying something with the body floating in Norma Desmond's swimming pool. The rest is, as they say, history. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please come back for the next one. And also, please kindly like Subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell if you want to be notified of every time I upload a new video. Share and please leave your comments down below. Thank you and be blessed.